those times. Oh, I still need to see. The, the backyard is so messy. Wait, what time is it? 10 o'clock. Pedro must be back by now. Pedro, where are the shirts that I ironed yesterday? Well, hypothetically speaking, it's in my trunk. Why is it there? I still need to sew some holes in some of those shirts. Fire! Take it easy! We still need some more ice? No. We still need to blow, blow, blow the fields. What? I can't understand. I was just joking. We still need to blow the field because tomorrow is Sunday. It's rest day. Are you flirting with me? No! Are you me? <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Here's the key to my trunk. Take a good care of it. In sickness or in health. The smile left Soledad's face as Pedro put the small key back into his pocket. That small key, she thought to herself. Alright. Just alright? Are you expecting something else? No, nothing. Show me. <laughs> Sugar King, you look pale and tired. What have you been doing all morning? <laughs> Nothing, but the heat gives me headache. Then lie down and try to sleep when I'm gone. <laughs> it's really warm here. I'll take off my coat then. Only your coat? Are you expecting something else? Shooting! I shall pass by the Maria's house and tell her to come here. I may not return before dark, okay? Bye. Charlie! What now? I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Okay, bye. Curiosity began to wheel into Soledad's mind about the small key Pedro has all the time. She well knows of Pedro Buhay's first wife, but to still keep a part of her till now, every day, the thought of it is killing her. So instead, she tried to reel her mind into something else. So you're walking out the door Nobody told me you'd been crying Every night Nobody told me you'd been dying But didn't want to fight Nobody told me that you fell out of love from me So I'm setting you free She's dead now and I am still alive. I have so much to offer. Let me be the one to break it up so you won't have to make excuses. 
We don't need to find a setup where someone wins and someone loses. We just have to say our love was true, but has now become a lie. So I'm telling you, I love you one last time and goodbye. Oh. And she was right. It did contain the clothes of her husband's first wife. Maria already there. It's not all right. I won't make the same mistake all over again. How do I live without you? I want you to know how do I live without you. If you ever no, go... No, stop, okay? I'll get worse if you sing even more. Okay, I'll, I'll be back. As the morning came, Pedro went to their backyard. But while gazing, he saw that someone had been burning clothes, and so he examined the garments. He knew of the clothes. He knew of it.
It was hers. It was her dead wife's panuelo. And Soledad had burned her clothes. So, how are you? Where are you going? To the back room. I want you to rest 24 7, okay? Your wife is fine. She just needs a little rest. Okay, goodbye. Knowing Soledad will be alright. Pedro still thought of the things Soledad did, though he is unsure of what her wife will say. One thing remains sure of, that is, no matter what explanation Soledad will give, he'll learn to forgive her. <laughs>